Righto guys, so today is the day I'm going to start putting up my container dome over my two shipping containers I have outside. It is not ideal weather conditions, it is raining. But the situation at the moment is I've got a lot of work that needs to be done outside, I can't do it here in the workshop. So rather than put this off any longer, I'm just gonna persevere with the weather and start putting this together. So what this is, this is a 40 foot long by 40 foot wide by six meters tall container dome with a back wall. So that will stop any wind and rain coming through the back side of the containers. So it'll just be a really nice spot in order to do any outside fabrication out of the sun. It's pretty hot out here today. And out of the weather. First thing I need to do, I need to unpack the boxes, find the instructions, and I can start setting things up and work out my first plan of attack. Righto guys, so we have unpacked everything out of the box and there are no instructions. And the picture on the front of the box doesn't match what I thought I bought. So the instruction manual should have been supplied. It's clearly written on the front of the box. Instruction manual supplied. I didn't get one. I don't have time to wait till Monday. I have hired a little cherry picker to use to put everything up. So I'm just gonna wing it and see what happens. So what we got in the kit to install the container shelter was a heap of screws, bolts, rope, tape, ratchets and a couple of bags of brackets. We also got 35 square tubes that are bent and when put together will form seven arches that make up the main frame. As well as a whole heap of support tubes that go horizontally between the arches and then these horizontal rails with uprights that go along the edge of the containers. After fitting the base plate onto the corner of the storage container, the horizontal rails were laid out and then the support brackets put in place to make sure everything fit before bolting them all together. Once the rails were set up on the first container, we went over to the other container and did it all again. And here, Curtis realised that there wasn't enough support brackets for the rails. So he had to do a little bit of juggling around to make them fit. 
and went back over to the first container and took a bracket off that side so that there would be enough support on the other container. After getting the rails and support brackets all set up and in position, all the bolts needed to be done up nice and tight. This kit is all bolt together, so there is no welding required. That's definitely going to save some time, and if we ever want to dismantle or move the shelter, that will make things a bit easier. Righto guys, so we've picked up our cherry picker, so it's the Nifty 120, got it from our local hire company, I couldn't get a four wheel drive EWP or a scissor lift, which is fine, we have something that's going to do the job, so now that that's here, I can start putting the main frames together and getting them stood up. Having the yard crane to lift these arches into position definitely made things a lot easier. 
And this is where the measuring and position of the containers is so important. If they are too close or too far apart, these arches won't fit onto the rails. After positioning each arch, three of the horizontal bracing tubes were fitted just to give a bit of extra stability. After the first set of arches was put up, it was pretty easy just to repeat the process. So five of the seven arches got set up, but unfortunately the boom lift couldn't reach any further, so the last two arches had to wait. But while that lift was in position, the rest of the horizontal bracing tubes were fitted. And also the vertical bracing tubes on the first end were put in place.
With the boom lift moved, it was time to finish putting up the frame. The frame is made from heavy duty cold form steel and it's double hot dip galvanised with a protective external clear coat and internal corrosion resistant coating, so it should last a fair while. Right on guys, that's as far as I'm going to go with the installation of the igloo. It is about 9.30 tonight. I only have my little boom lift for 24 hours, so I need to utilise that as much as I can. Today the goal was to get the main structure up, which we have. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll finish off the little bits and pieces I have to, and then my little brother's going to come over and give me a hand to put the canvas over the top. So we'll leave it there, we'll see you in the morning. Righto guys, so it is day two of our container shelter install. So far we've got all the main structure up. I'm just going through now taping off any of the areas that could potentially tear the tarp or the canvas that goes over the top. I'll finish that off and then we're going to start to fit the actual cover itself. So with the cover laid out, the tension tubes were inserted before it was pulled over the frame. It was quite a windy day, so the tubes would act as a weight and also a guide as the cover was being pulled over the frame. Hauling the cover over the frame went pretty smoothly, just using the rope to pull it over as evenly as possible. Unfortunately, a tarp got stuck and went for a ride, but Curtis eventually got that down. Once the cover was all the way over, it just needed a few adjustments to make sure the overhangs on each side were even, and then the ratchet straps were secured onto the cover. After all that, the ends of the roof cover had to be tightened and tied onto the arches using nylon rope. So the cover is a commercial grade, heavy duty three ply PVC. It's 100% waterproof, tear resistant and fire retardant. And all that got done just as the time was up on the hire for the boom lift. And the last thing to do was tension the cover using the ratchets to make sure it was tight and secure.
Righto guys, so we have now completed the container shelter. I got it done within the 24 hours that I had set and that I had the boom lift for. We've got everything tightened off now and really, really happy with the end result. I do have an end wall to put on, but it won't be happening today. I did run out of time with my little uh, boom lift that I'd hired. So that's not super critical at the moment. We did get the main part out of the way. We've got the structure up. We've got the tarp on. I've put up a fair few of these in my time, so I did have a pretty good idea what I was doing. One of the main things to do when you are putting the tarps on is you must tape up all your joints where there is a sharp edge. So where all the structure joins together, any brackets are sticking through, tape them up so you don't tear your canvas. Probably the hardest bit of the entire job would have been the tarp itself. Putting the rods through the tarp that actually holds tension on it and then using the rope to tie all the ends in. That was probably the hardest bit of the entire job. Other than that, everything went really, really smoothly considering we had no plans and I'm missing parts. So with the entire kit we got, we were missing a fair few parts and we got extra parts that we didn't need. So I ended up with about three spare horizontal braces that go in between the trusses. I didn't get two of the diagonal support brackets. I did get the support bar but not the brackets. They didn't send enough screws, there wasn't enough rope and because I didn't have plans I made the mistake of putting the end plates that support the outer trusses on backwards. The way I figured out they were around the wrong way was when I went to ratchet the ends of the tarp down I didn't have anywhere to put the ratchets because they were on the wrong side. But that's alright, no big fears, we fixed that, that's fine. The canvas on the roof has a 10 year warranty, the structure is also a has a 10 year warranty on it providing it's put up the way the manual says to. Because we're on the Gold Coast we don't generally really get any sort of heavy wind. We don't get cyclones, hurricanes, tornadoes. It does get windy around here, but nothing that serious where it's gonna pull the containers out of the ground or it's gonna rip the roof off this. So I'm really, really happy with the results. Definitely gonna be a really great upgrade for our outdoor welding area. What am I actually saying? <laughs> no, I got it, I got it. Do you actually? Got it. Yep, you ready? I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. And I'll call them Monday morning and tell them how much I dislike what they have done to me. <laughs> Very <you>. good. <laughs> Righto guys, so we've picked up our spider of death. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting in that. <laughs> Looks like you're going skydiving. <laughs> That's slippery shit. Oh my god, this stuff is slippery as fuck. That'd be right. Did they give extras of them? I hope so. It's a fucking sucker. Righto guys, so I, wait, what did you say? How did you stop it? Righto guys, so that's about as far as I'm going to go with the shelter igloo. Oh, fuck me. Installing the, the, fuck. We'll leave it there, we'll see you in the morning. Okay. <laughs> hey. Um, what else I going to say? So I'm really, really happy with the result. Everything went really well considering the issues we did have. So, oh my god. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. <laughs>
Just throw him maybe on the ground. Ah! Where is he? 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 Where is he?